The Dalai Lama is philosophical about China's stance on the Tibetan issue. Their main ambition is to become superpower. In order to become superpower, you need moral authority in order to bring respect to the rest of the world. If you want to, uh, to take important role on this planet, the respect from the rest of the world is very essential. Most populated nation and ancient nation, uh, very important. So very close relation, genuine friendship with that country is very essential. But meantime, uh, in order to be genuine, trusted, good friend, those Chinese wrongdoing uh, should make clear as a friend. If you carry too much appeasement and actually spoiling your friend's future. I always believe you say, our approach, middle way approach, is actually helping to bring stability, unity, prosperity, and ultimately bring harmonious society. Uh, so anyone, including European Union, helping that is indirectly helping to the Chinese government. Of course, some hardliner Chinese sort of officials they say uh, too much suspicion. <laughs> they get used just to bully and telling lie. China government, from the Dalai Lama to the Chinese government, is open. But we ask the Dalai Lama to completely, really, abandon all the rules. 彻底的停止分裂活动，承认西藏和台湾都是中国领土不可分割的一部分，特别是在目前，啊，要停止煽动和策划在西藏和其他地区呢进行暴力犯罪的事件，停止呢干扰破坏北京奥运会的活动。Negotiating with the powerful Chinese central government and finding a solution has been an uphill battle. This is a subject that His Holiness has been outspoken about for decades. Chinese government uh, made five-point proposal. All points about my, about me. I will get all the privileges all the status which I have before 1959. So then I told, this is not the issue. Issue is Tibetan people's well-being, their culture, heritage, or these things. Our proposal, middle of approach, not seeking independence, but seeking genuine autonomy. Many Tibetans inside Tibet fully agree that. So that is the mutually agreeable solution. Because the Chinese constitution provided this right and their policy regarding minority, certain rights mentioned there. Now the problem is all these rights just remain in favor, not implemented. I feel the, my direct responsibility dealing with Chinese government now I find it very difficult. My trust towards Chinese government now thinner, thinner, thinner. <laughs>